Last year, City News brought you the story of Lucy Latino and her husband, Charlie, after he was spotted walking through the streets of downtown Toronto, wearing a billboard in search of a kidney donor for his wife. And while their search still continues, her message of hope remains the same. But it's reached some new heights. Restored faith in humanity. Like there's so many great people who want to help in one way or another. And that's been really nice. In 2020, after discovering that no one in Lucy's family was a suitable donor, her daughter Danielle took to social media in search of one while also sharing her mom's journey, allowing the pair to connect with people from all walks of life. But this past year, really, they connected with one person in particular that kept Lucy's father, story close to her heart while climbing Africa's tallest mountain. The support's been amazing. We've met so many incredible people, uh, Carrie being one of them. Carrie Kirkland, a Canadian musician and donor herself who helped launch Living Donor Adventures, organized the climb up Mount Kilimanjaro on March 9th, World Kidney Day, with a goal in mind, to remove the fear and stigma attached to organ donation, but rather shine a light to the beauty of it. For most of us, it, we just go on with our daily lives exactly as we were before donating. Nothing really changes. And the reason we kind of do these big adventures is to show people that not only can you have a normal life after donating an organ, you can have an extraordinary life. I decided to become a kidney donor. Actually, it wasn't really a decision. The decision was just made almost instantly the moment that I heard that a friend of mine was in need of a kidney to save his life. With over 25 climbers, made up mostly of donors and supporters, each participant carried the story of someone up the mountain with their picture in hand. I honestly thought, just there's no one else that I would want to take. And I'm Canadian, um, so it was kind of a nice connection that Lucy was in Toronto, because um, I live in Southern California now. And so having that little bit of home go up with me felt really right. When I saw her talking about my story, before she climbed, um, it was the first time I ever cried. She was so passionate about it, I couldn't believe it. It was shocking to me to have someone from another area of the world hear our story. Despite all this support, Lucy hasn't had any luck finding a donor. We're very hopeful that for sure we won't give up, not for myself, nor for all the thousands of people that are out there. Hopeful that a gift from a stranger can change someone's life forever, not only for the recipient, but for the donor as well. You know, the feeling that most of us have, um, that our lives are so much better and so much richer for donating and for knowing people. And, it, you know, it's only been a positive experience for us. Eric Espinosa, City News.